Hey guys, how's it going? It's Torment here. So if you're hearing this right now, that means I am live comming and my dogs didn't bark or there was no interruptions, so I was able to go through an entire live com and no interruptions. So yeah, this is a live com. Right now we're in a pretty deep hole. Uh, number 21 on the leaderboard is 1361. We lost both of our last games in the last episode, which is quite unfortunate. But we're going to hope to get those back in this game. I think number one spot's the same spot. Right now it's 1462. So it's a 100 point climb. Still not too far off and definitely doable within like a month because the season ends in about a month, like July 5th, I think. So yeah, we're just going to try to get there as fast as possible. And two wins here would definitely be helpful. All right, here we go. Into the first game. I recognize Corrupt in September in the other team. I don't think I've seen any players on my team, but they're a Rocketeer. Maybe they have some experience. Not really sure. I'm going to try to play this up the wall here, control it. Actually, yeah, he, he had me challenged. But that pop-up there hurt them more than it helped them, probably. Um, fortunately for them, I guess he's able to beat me back here. I'm going to try to hit this out to the guy waiting on the right. I put it a little too far. Actually, he was more center than right. That's kind of my bad, though. I should have tried to do something like a more effective. Like, Oh, that's gone back there. I should have definitely tried to pass it in the middle, though. Like, I just wanted to make sure I beat the defenders, though, which I did, but... Kind of a tough spot. So I have 8 boost. I'm gonna fake. Yeah, that's a extremely risky, but it worked out. Inside 8 boost, my hit, he was trying to dunk me. I was just gonna hit it into him. Gotta make sure I just beat him there. Gonna try to get the challenge too. He kind of hesitated, so I decided I'd probably be able to catch up with a f uh, just going for a flip and like a small amount of boost usage. And that's coming right at me. Just barely didn't get the tip over him. I like just. He just barely read me. Hopefully he can get this cross though. He can't, but he might be able to get a follow up. The 50-50 doesn't really go very good for me though, so I'm just gonna wait. And he's bumping me. I was able to get the hit though. And nice follow up. I think he should be able to get that. Nice. That was a good shot. And a, well, a good beat, and obviously the shot was wide open. I was a little scared I was gonna get bumped there when I went for that uh with that hit, because I think he was—he looked like he was like blocking my vision a little bit, almost hit my car. Oh, uh, I could have got that in maybe if I went a little faster. Right there, since I didn't have a lot of boost to work with, I had to wait for it to come down a little though. It's whatever. I'm gonna let him go because he wants to, and he has—he looked like he had full boost. Oh my! All right, there we go. So right there, when I had control of the ball, I decided instead of just giving it away or hitting it to their corner. Like, I'd be able to get a white tap, and it set me up for a shot. The bounce was just high enough that I could get height, and I could actually shoot it across and if I just cut into it hard enough. Uh, I wanted to maybe get that demo and then grab the boost from him. I would have got beat to that ball since it went so far on their side. So I just waited. And he looks like he has an opportunity to maybe shoot this. He gets beat right at me, though. So, he might be able to get a clear. Probably not to me, though. Yeah, that's smart. Playing it in the corner, make him give him an opportunity to follow up. Doesn't happen anyways, but it's better than uh, the alternative of, like, just hitting it right into somebody. It got, got me time to get back, too. That was a good hit. And the follow-up, nice. So, you just kind of simple play. Kind of just pinch the middle. Beat the defender. And the last team is able to squeeze it in. I said I got it, but I guess he's going. I want to make sure I get back here because last teammate might be in trouble. And I was in trouble too. Somehow, ah, they scored anyways. Yeah, I looked like my teammate was in trouble. So what do I do? I go. I missed two. Didn't play that very smart, but whatever. And they get an, end up getting a play off of it. It's whatever though. We're still up two. Half the game left. I think the biggest problem there was double going for the kickoff. I did call it, because I didn't want that to happen. Um, yeah, it's rolling. I just wanted to make sure I didn't play that too far into the post. I had no boost, so as long as there's nobody going. My initial plan here was to fake, but uh, it seems like September f faked his the last defender out enough for me. So. I'm just going to wait for this hit. He's probably just going to hit into the corner. And I have a follow up. Or oh, my teammates got it. Again, that kind of makes puts us in a difficult spot for a second. Uh, they didn't really do much with it though, so we're fine. 
Might be able to get the shot there. Probably smart from the challenge that I probably would have had the touchdown to the crossbar in their goal. And might actually be a goal. Oh no, teammate. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Rip. I didn't I had no clue he was there because he'd been taken out of the play. The shot was so slow that I wasn't able to scoop around it and hit it out. And he just says nope. So uh happens I guess. He wasn't really looking at me, I guess. Let me keep saying I guess because I'm not really sure. Actually, accidental double touch gets us in a good spot. Almost gets us, gets us a goal scoring opportunity. Not a lot of boosts, so I use the flip. Not bad. I mean, since he was middle, he's able to follow it. There's two of them up, so I can actually play off this hit. Um, not really the best hit. It would have been better if I got that off the better uh, the better part of the corner where it bounced middle, but instead I hit it off a part of the corner where it just kind of gets stuck there. Okay, good of him to leave that. I waited just in case he did hit it because he's done a couple things that when he didn't know I was there. But that was smart for him to leave that. Yeah, I didn't like that hit that I did there. It kind of gave the ball to them in, in our middle, so... He's gonna go. I can probably follow this. We have a minute. Just need to kind of buy some time from them. Looked like he almost could have had that. I thought he was actually gonna score it, but I don't know what happened there. So all saying is a lot of uh, I don't know what happened there. So, cause I, I I don't know what's going on in the minds of some of my teammates sometimes or the other team. Just gonna control it. Get the boost. I can't, yeah, right there I just flicked it away to nowhere. It was smart for him probably not to commit to that because he knew what I was going to do. I can probably get a touch here. Uh, not the best. I'm not going to be able to land either, damn. I wanted to be able to land there so I can like, recover and maybe follow, but we end up being alright. And thank you for stealing that. I was going to hit it down to our teammate, but my, t my other teammate had uh, different ideas of giving it to the other team, but it's whatever. As long as we hold on to our lead... Um, which we do. We could have actually taken another goal, but it doesn't really matter. And yeah, there we go. We finally break the loss streak. I think that was like three losses in a row. It was like the end of the two episodes ago. And then the last two episodes, or the last episode was two in a row. So yeah, there we go. We take the first win. We had two diamond threes in the game. I don't like how they like, I mean, I guess it's a decent range, but like diamond three to grand champ top a hundred is a huge difference. So you can definitely tell sometimes, especially actually maybe I'm wrong about that. Cause the diamond three and both teams was not on the bottom when they were champion level players. So I guess and sometimes in solo standard, it's weird because a lot of people don't like playing solo standard and they don't play it. So it kind of like doesn't really, their rank isn't really where it should be because it's hard to get games and people just don't like playing it. So after that game, we went up to 19 on the leaderboards, 1372 MMR. I believe that's like a nine or 10 point increase. I think I was around like 22, 23. Yeah, I was at 1361. So it's actually 11 points. I'm sorry. But yeah, 11 point increase, not too bad. Uh, it seems like every game we're like around the 10 point mark for losing and gaining. So, you know, at that rate, we need seven wins to get top number one in a row, which I don't see that happening, but you never know. And yeah, we're just going to get right into game two. All right, into game two, I believe uh, Corrupt and Deng Dengaru were both in the game last game, and now they're both on my team. I think Corrupt is on the other team now. And yeah, this should be a decent game. I liked, I don't think anybody in the last game was really playing too bad. It was a pretty good game. Sometimes we get games where we have a player that's like, seems it's pretty outmatched, but neither of these players seemed outmatched in the last one. So I'm just waiting here. He should have a good dribble, so I'm going to wait to see what he can do. He actually oddly gets that around. Doesn't really last long though, so I should probably go back. Uh, what's going on there? Not really sure what's going on there. He's probably going to get the clear there. Teammate did a cross pass, which is a decent idea. But he didn't really know where I was, so it didn't work out. I hit that one too well. If I got that clear higher, he wouldn't have been able to just return it so quick. And it probably would have went to their corner. So that was a little bit of a just a small mistake that could have helped us out. We'll wait to see how this 50-50 like, goes. Yeah, that's definitely not hittable by me. So I rotate back so my teammate can uh, go who's in that corner. I move up, see if uh, he can get the hit out to me. It doesn't really happen. Uh, 
that's a pretty bad hit, actually. Sorry about that banging noise in the background, if you can hear it. It's kind of distracting me, too. Fake him here. Never mind. For a second, I thought I had it, but... Maybe get the beat there. Oh, I did get the beat, but... The way I went at it, I had to get it over him. But it turned out I went too high into the crossbar. It's close, though. I don't think they expected me to jump on that so quick. I don't think this guy has any boost. The way he's jumping, so I can just go for a challenge. I do get beat up, too, but... Unfortunately, there's a third guy. Doesn't really end up working out in my favor. We've been pressured this whole game. This is not going too well for us, that's for sure, but... Right there was a decent opportunity. I just waited though because I was getting beat for sure. Oh, I hate that ball. Yeah, I don't like that that ball. The way it was at. Thank God they didn't score that. Let's see if I can uh, follow here. They over they overcommitted a lot for that. So. Oh my God, what was that? I got bumped from behind. I think. Oh, two of them jumped and they both faked. That was weird. I don't know. Maybe they like thought the other one was gonna go and they waited. Going for a nice uh, ceiling shot. Probably gonna get blocked. Did did draw out two defenders though. So not too bad. Actually, that's a decent spot for a ball to be. I'm gonna try to control. Never mind. I kind of improvised because the control. It was a little faster than I thought. Yeah, coming into the corner. So. I just made sure I got a decent hit that didn't put us in a bad spot. Oh, if only I didn't backflip. And, oh no. Our last time back went too. I don't know why he went. This is definitely not a good decision for him to go there. Knowing that I was there as well. Uh, when you're last back like that, you got to make sure you think more consciously about where, you're, where your two uh, offensive players are. So you can rotate out at the right time. but Or rotate in at the right time. But he definitely didn't. Maybe I can get a pop off here. Oh, there's no one there. Wait, what? I was trying to, <laughs> I was trying to like hit it cross side so like no one, would, no one would be able to defend it. But there was no defenders except for the side I thought there would be nobody. That was dumb. Whatever though, I could have taken a better shot anyways. It was too flat. Ah, oh, he read me for some reason. I'm too predictable, I guess. I want to make sure I get that across. I'm not sure where the their player was coming in. All right, my teammate had that. He's gonna turn on the wall there. He's in an awkward spot though. What is going on? Okay, use all my boost to get that around him. Oh no. I guess my teammate didn't wasn't ready for the pass. Okay, I got the touch. Maybe my teammate will turn. Actually this is a decent opportunity. He's probably gonna hit this try to hard clear, yep. So right there I just tried to read the hard clear. Expecting that, because that's what a lot of people do when they don't know what to do with the ball or they're not confident in like their ground play. We don't have much time here though, so. And my teammate goes with me. Can't really do much except, my teammate's insane. Okay, so I guess, I guess he's pretty nutty. We went for the same ball, I was really surprised that he'd be able to get a follow up. I guess he's just, you know, thinking smarter than me. And he pulled that play out, so that was actually a really clutch play from him. And just killed us and sent us to overtime. A little scary there being last back. <laughs> Uh, zero seconds, the ball's flying, but... Oops, I should have called that earlier. Made it hard for me to go for the kickoff, too, because I was reaching the call. It. I'm going to wait, see if we can get a 50. That's pretty good. Oh, that's bad. Okay, at least the way it went, he couldn't really get a very strong hit. But still, I hate leaving balls in positions like that. Okay, this is, this is pretty wide. He might be able to get the pass out as well. I really rushed that. Honestly, I could have waited. Um, gotten a much stronger shot. Maybe like a just a shot in general or a double tap. 
something way better than just slamming it off the ceiling. And that's a double demo, so they're in a 3v1, or we're in a 1v3. And that sucks, dude. They actually just bodied our entire team. Holy. I don't know if it was calculation or what, but... Um, they even bumped our teammate who spawned back in on the other side. <sighs> that sucks. Well, they literally bodied our entire team. I don't really know what to say. We went, we got the clutch play to go into overtime. And then, um, yeah, I get demoed. Um, the guy in the corner gets demoed. and then, Or not the guy in the corner, but the guy who spawned back in the other corner got demoed somewhere. And then he got spawned in and was getting bumped again. Our teammate didn't get the greatest hit, but he was in a 1v3, so that's really hard. Uh, either way, we end up taking the L. So, I mean, better than last episode. We went even in games. So yeah, we actually go down to 1360. Um, this is one point lower than when we started. So, you know, another decline episode. We went down one point exactly. Seems to be how these episodes have been going. And yeah, with that, sorry guys, we lost, <laughs> or we lost more points this episode. Not too many, but anyways, that's it for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed I hope you enjoyed the live comms. I don't know if I can do this every time. I'll try my best. It all depends on what times I actually play the games. Like if I play during the day, and, you know, someone, like, the mailman comes or something, it ruins the entire live com for the entire episode, so, um, because <laughs> of my dogs, if you, if you didn't watch the episode I explained. But, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.